What is going on? We got some great news today. Sagon has just released a new jailbreak. Well, actually, they released it a couple of days ago, but unfortunately, I did not have enough time to upload it right away. But anyways, here it is. But before I begin the video, I would like you guys to post any feedback down in the comments. It will be greatly appreciated. And also note that this jailbreak will only work on the following devices. On iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone SE, iPhone 5S, and iPad Air. This, these are the only devices that it works on, unfortunately. So if you don't have one of these, just don't waste your time. But if you do, today's your lucky day, and here's how to get it. Also note that this jailbreak will work on iOS 10.2.1 and below. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. The first step you're gonna take on your computer is simply go to the Sagon official site. And before downloading the, the jailbreak beta, you're gonna install the City Impactor. Uh, it's the same process for every single jailbreak, so I'm sure you guys are familiar. Now, once you have the City Impactor open, this is how it's gonna look like, this little window pops up. Make sure you click on Xcode and revoke any certificates that you have from your previous jailbreaks by entering all your iTunes information. So once you enter your password and uh, email, it's gonna revoke whatever certificates you have, if you have any. Anyways, once you've done so, you're gonna go to the beta R3 and download the file. Once you downloaded the file, you're gonna right click on it, show in folder, and it should be the top one up here. And you're simply gonna drag the file onto the impactor. This is literally all you have to do. Once again, enter your iTunes information. Once you have done this part, you're, you're basically set. The rest is on your iPhone. So you can safely exit out of all of these windows. Before starting the jailbreak process on your phone, make sure you go to Settings, General, Profile and Device Management, and you should see your email on the bottom. If you see your email, that means uh, there's a new certificate added and you have to accept it. So you're gonna click on it and verify it if it says, if it does not say verified already. So once you do so, you're gonna find that there's a new app. I already placed it in the folder. And it's this, it's gonna be this blue icon right here. I've placed the older version of Sagon next to it just for comparison, showing that they really put in effort because now they actually had a separate app icon for their, for their jailbreak. Anyways. You're gonna click on it and you're gonna find out that there that it says jailbreak on the bottom and you're gonna do so okay try number six and seems like it finally I don't want to jinx it if you see this rotating circle in the middle it worked for some reason it took me five times Unfortunately, like I previously said, this is still not a perfectly polished jailbreak. So now that the phone is spring, we can, can go to the Sagon app and it says you're already jailbroken. Great sign. Let's also test out that City works. It's loading, which is a good sign. It means that it's working. And yes, it loaded perfectly. We can get anything that we want. This is basically it. This it's a, it's a more it's a more consistent jailbreak, and I say they did improve it upon the last version, uh, especially if you don't have any previous jailbreaks. Now, it took me five tries, that's probably because I was already jailbroken. Something did not bond together with my previous jailbreak, so that's why I was experiencing issues. But if this is gonna be your first jailbreak, go ahead and do so. It's a very, very high end, I feel compared to the others out there. I mean, this is really the only one that will work on iOS 10 in the first place. But yeah, thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day.